Hi to everyone. Sami here from Grip Trade. Let me assist you with a strategy that can help you to have consistent rewards appropriately. This strategy that we are going to discuss is really simple, easy and reliable. But the main thing behind is that you have to use different strategies, different combination of indicators at different points of time and then you can have a really good results. You need to know that different combination of indicators are back tested and then I summarize the specific parts of the day, the points of time when you can easily use them and have a really good results. Now you are always welcome to reach me out on my contact details for having the updated information regarding different strategies needed to be used at specific parts of the day. This strategy that we are going to discuss is really simple, easy and very effective as well. But the major guidelines are needed to be followed that I am going to convey you. These are very simple guidelines and very easy to implement but you have to follow all of them that I try to guide you with. This strategy is comprised of candle charts. One more thing that I try to convey everything in the very simple format so that even if you are a beginner you are going to learn the basic concepts along with getting the advanced guidelines that require you to gain something. Now whenever you select the candle chart we have to select the candle time period. For this particular strategy we are going to have the candle time as one minute. So there you see that each candle is showing you a fluctuation movement of total one minute. You can even have two minute candle time for this particular strategy. So there you see now each candle is showing you a movement fluctuation of total two minutes. Now what you need to do is that you will going you will be going to apply the indicators which are very easy to understand. There are multiple indicators being offered that can help you to analyze the points to pick the trade. Indicators always have the same motive. They are just required to analyze the points where you can easily pick a trade. Also remember that different indicators are combined to make a strategy. Now for this particular strategy we require two indicators that include the Bollinger Bands and the commodity channel index. So there you see as I have selected the Bollinger Bands and the commodity channel index. Now what I'll be doing is that I'll be customizing these indicators as per my requirement. These are the major guidelines, the important guidelines that you need to watch and note down as well. Now the Bollinger Bands required for this particular strategy have a point 13 and the deviation required is three styles of your choice. You can always change the styles as per your requirement so that you can clearly watch whatever is happening in front of you. I'm going to uncheck the middle line so because I do not need that for this particular strategy. There I have clearly uh, selected the colors of the upper and the lower line. Now I'm going to change the background color so that you can clearly watch whatever is happening and there I save it now. So there you see as I have selected the Bollinger Bands customized settings. Now I'll be changing the commodity channel index as per my requirement. The CCI needs to have 19 period and the styles need to be of your choice. You can always change the colors and the pixels. 
so that you can clearly watch the complete movement of the indicator now you need to always remember that as and whenever you see the half of the body outside the upper or the lower Bollinger band line okay let's watch it out at this point you see either the half of the body or any part of the body of the candle touches the lower Bollinger line if at that point the commodity channel index is below the lower limit you are going to opt for a buy trade a higher trade a call option simple as that but always remember that whole of this stuff is conditional to the fact that you have to use different strategies at different points of time do not keep on trying to use one strategy all the times that might not be much effective for you as i am trying to convey you now you see here the green candle touching the upper limit and at that very point the commodity channel index line is above the upper limit so once you see this happening you can opt for the sell trade lower trade a put option you see this here the green candle touching the upper limit clearly and afterwards there's a downtrend now what's the basic concept behind this the bollinger band lines show us the oversold and overbought limits or the points here you see each candle is going towards extreme uptrend or extreme downtrend always remember that whenever you see the pin of the candle touching the lower bollinger or the upper bollinger line ignore that the complete candle should be touching the upper or the lower bollinger line so the concept is that whenever there is an uptrend you see at a certain point the pair becomes overbought the limit to buy it has even exceeded at that point then you put a sell trade and that is the indication of this bollinger band upper line you see afterwards there is a sell trend downtrend lower trend similarly the other way around whenever you see the downtrend as you can see it here at this point you see that the candle touched the lower bollinger line so this was the point where the pair had been over sold so once the pair has been oversold you can simply opt for the buy trade a higher trade a call option at that very point so this is how you can simply opt for the points to pick the trade and the main influence of commodity channel index is you can see that whenever the candle is oversold or overbought i hope you understand the concept now whenever it has been oversold or overbought then you see the commodity channel index below or the upper above the upper line above the upper limit at this point you see it below the lower limit so once you see this happening you can simply have the second confirmation means you are going to have two confirmations the candle has been overbought or oversold this is being indicated by bollinger bands once this indication is complete now you see the commodity channel index is either below the lower limit in the case of oversold and commodity channel index is above the upper limit as you can see here in the case of overbought then you have the second confirmation as well so once you have the second confirmation as well you can simply opt for the trades that i tried to guide you about so that's all for now in case of any confusion queries concerns questions you can always have my assistance you can always reach me out for coaching collaboration 
or any sort of help that you require that's it for now and i hope that we'll be connecting very soon again i hope the things that i tried to convey you are really in the simplest format see you very soon have a great time bye sunny here from grip trade i hope you like the video in case if you have any sort of queries or you require any assistance or you have any concerns you are all welcome to reach me out on my contact details mentioned even in the video as well as at the end of the video